What's up, Chang Gang? Wilson here, back with another video. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. This is going to be a different one. This is not a reaction video or anything, but more so a little, I guess, personal vlog or just like a sit down conversation to have. As you can see in the title, um, this is going to be SB19 related, where I'm going to be talking about the concert itself in Redwood City. From the time that I'm recording right now, it will be two days away, exactly two days where we get to see, or I get to see SB19 for the second time since November of last year. This is exciting. So uh, I got the email and everything because I did end up getting VIP seats once again. I got it last time. And this time around, I'm gonna be in section L or row L. So you guys could be on the lookout if anything. Last time I went with three friends, three of my close friends. This time only one of them is going again. Uh, Ashley, she was there last time. So you guys might recognize her from the vlog. Yeah, so she will also be there, but we're not sitting in the same area because she decided to go way later on. However, she will be pretty close. I think she's in section or row L or no K, which is like in front one row in front of me, but like all the way to the end where I'm like more so near the center, but towards the left side of the middle section. But anyways, I uh, just wanted to share my thoughts about everything. I know VIP doors open at five, so we're going to be there by five. Hopefully it's cool that they're doing like a group photo op at 530. I think it was really fun or it was like a cool experience to be able to have like a group photo with SB19 in general. However, last time we it was like after the show and it went by pretty fast where we couldn't really make conversation or we couldn't really talk to SB19 much. So it's wishful thinking to say that I hope we could actually say what's up or at least say a little bit like hi or bye. I don't know, but I know they got to keep things moving for the show and everything and I'm sure they have to like conserve their voices. But yeah, our group photo op earlier this time sounds pretty cool like ideal but no one has to go home like super late assuming that this concert ends around 10 and then the live sound check will be at 6 30. it was a very nice experience last time just hearing them do the sound check it was a vibe and yeah they're amazing singers like live doors open at 7 and the show starts at 7 30. what does that mean if they start at 7 30 there's no way it's gonna be that long right unless they take breaks so what are the odds that this event will end like around 9 p.m.? Yeah, I'm just winging this video. I honestly don't know how I plan to like vlog everything because part of me wants to, you know, experience it all. But then part of me also wants to capture the moments and save it forever like I did last time. So maybe I'll get like recording snippets of each song just like a little bit like last time. And then I, I want that like homey vlog feeling where I could just talk and possibly show people who are comfortable on camera, of course. So other fellow A10 and supporters of SB19. If I end up bumping into you, I think this is like an important thing to talk about. Like I could be awkward. I could feel very shy or overwhelmed because it's like a surreal experience to just like see so many wonderful people and to just, you know, SB19 is there. So I'm thinking like, it's going to be very awkward for me to try to record anyways, especially if there's eyes around. But if you guys do want to like stop by and say hi, or if you recognize me by a chance, yeah, just feel free to come up. We'll have a conversation or I don't know, whatever, whatever you guys like. I don't want to assume that people will recognize me or anything, but I know it's a better chance that you guys will be able to recognize me versus the other way around for obvious reasons. So I'm just letting it be known that you guys could definitely say hi. Ideally, like I just want to enjoy the show with everyone, of course, all together. And I'll probably ask if anything, if uh, you'd like to say hi to the camera, because I know it's really awkward to talk to the camera just like this, but I'm going to be holding my phone around to like do all the vlogging anyways. Maybe to capture some reactions or just so viewers can feel the energy of the room, the crowd, and just the performance overall. And then I guess there will be like a segment where I will just talk about the overall experience and maybe even compare it to last year. For sure, I know it's going to be fun and it's going to be a 
quite the day just to have that like Friday vibe itself. Considering that's already in two days, it's absolutely insane. Yeah, so if you guys are seeing this, and you guys will be at the Redwood City Fox Theater for SB19's Pogtas Hog Tour, let me know in the comments. Just leave your first name and say who you're going with or something. Because, like, when I see you in person, maybe I'll remember. I'll be like, oh, you commented and you said your name was this, XYZ. That's so cool that you actually showed up and we were able to, like, meet each other. Because, yeah, I, I think that would be really interesting and surreal. But I know, at the end of the day, I'm just a normal person. Ashley will be there if you guys want to say hi to her. I don't know how she'll feel. I'm pretty sure she'll feel really awkward, but like in a in a good way. And she would definitely be open to meeting people. Unfortunately, the, our other friends couldn't go because of financial reasons and because they're busy. But maybe next time. There's always a next time, I hope. Other than that, I hope you guys will enjoy the vlog however i decide to edit it i haven't really made a vlog like that in a really long time so it's gonna be cold turkey and for those who actually will be attending have lots of fun be safe enjoy your food and snacks whatever you decide to do let's just have a good time together another thing to note randomly is i'm gonna have to start doing my homework i gotta keep listening to these sp19 songs because i'm not as familiar with them as compared to the old EP and the older songs but it's all good it's gonna be like a magical experience anyways and I'm excited to hear what they will bring to the table because I know last year they're very like SB19 I mean they're very they give off like a homey feeling as if they really really want to show that they're connected to their fans and that they care so it's nice that they joke around and they just like vibe out with people um, they had like some American song covers from last time from what I remember, so I'm sure they're going to do that again. Golden Hour, that, that's one that I'm expecting them to play. So I'm expecting the Pogtatog songs, there's like six of them, and then Golden Hour, that's seven. Who knows what they'll also bring to the table. I'm sure if you guys watch like other YouTubers vlogs and stuff, you would know what to expect. But I haven't watched any of those, I'm just going to keep it as a surprise as well, I guess. And yeah, let's see if I recognize them. But it would be also, it will also be really cool if they play some of their older music. So it would be like a little throwback type of thing. All right, well, that's it. I've been rambling quite a lot, but I really hope you guys have a good one. Let me know what I should watch and react to next because I'll get back onto those reactions, of course. Yeah, stay safe and positive, and I'll see you guys or some of you guys at the show in two days. Peace out, Chain Gang.